they named the snack shop for the Howard Shy. Yeah. It was like, uh, so are you, what, what do you say something about you? just your kingdom? He's like, if my servants went, uh, if my it, kingdom was on earth, yeah. my servants went, let me, uh, No, if, if my kingdom, if you're asking, if my king, if, if the kingdom was established, my servants would fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that just means that when, when, it, when it's time to take the kingdom, my, my servants, which would be the elect, 144,000, and obviously the angels with him that's come to redeem our people. Next, we're gonna we're gonna take the kingdom. We're gonna fight for it. You know what I'm saying? Just at that time, uh, give, was it Romans 13 and one? Yeah, because um, because at that time in this time now we have to be wise and we have to be circumspect because we know that we can't just rise rise up against the uh, white man. Now our uh. Our uh, our group name is Sakari, which is which was a set of the Zealots, and they were going up against the Roman Empire. Actually, one of uh, actually one of Yahweh Shai's disciples, Simon the Zealot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I heard they they whacked like a high priest or something. They killed the high priest. Yeah, they was killing. Yeah, they was killing a lot of uh, wicked Israelites that were serving the Romans and whatnot. Um, What's up, brother? What's up, man? That's you from Burberry. You're good. That's all I fuck, bro. Where you working at? I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing a uh, nigga catering, nigga, for lens and shit. They got the zoo, nigga. Romans chapter 13 verse 1 it says let every soul be subject unto the higher power right we had at that time like even when like Peter chopped up the ear of the Roman you know what I'm saying that was it wasn't he he was writing his uh his his uh he was writing what he did in terms of his, uh, spiritually in his heart but at that time we had to be more circumspect because we have to be un under subjection you know because he had to be offered up to be be that sacrifice for Israel, that lamb. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. It says, uh, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Right, the powers that be are ordained of the Most High. So, them coming in and uh, snatching up Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying? That was all ordained. So, he's telling, pretty much saying, like, look, we hit, look, when my, when my kingdom's come, is come to be taken, that's when my, my servants will be fighting. You know what I'm saying? So he's not, so the Lord, the Lord was about that. He was about, you know, the the kingdom. It's just, he had to wake up his people. He had to wake up, you know, the the, the people, the, uh, gen, the Gentiles of our people, the people that was in the Gentile state of mind. You know what I'm saying? First, and also too, in this current present time now, re redeem, uh, re redeem those that were chosen from, from the very beginning. Um, give me, I think it's Acts, the fifth chapter, the 36th. 36th verse. Um, speaking on uh, Julius, Judas the Gal Galilean. Uh, 5 verse 37 right. after this man rose up Judah of Galilee right Ju Judah Judas of Galilee right keep going in the days of the taxing of and drew away much people after him right he drew a lot of people after him you know what I'm saying soldiers warriors and he was actually uh, a Zealot member okay go ahead he also drew I'm sorry he also perished in all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed. Right, even as many as obeyed him was dispersed. Why? Because he went, he came up against the Romans. You know what I'm saying? Our people, the Zealots, the actual movement, it was actually a right, it was righteous in the sense of defending the nation, but 
the Lord ultimately wasn't with it because he had because the the Roman Empire had to exist at the time to uh, to fulfill the the prophecies that he established uh, during the time of Daniel and even during the other prophecies that of, of the uh, eagle. Now that first that eagle was Roman Greek, you know what I'm saying? But particular Rome. Okay, so that like all of European, see, even America, all you say eagle symbolism. Yeah, they do. Which which proves that who proves what that. Edomites would have to be the so-called white men because they, they have all these flags with the damn eagle symbol. You know? America too. You know? Yeah, yeah, you think, think, think. yeah, a lot of these white nations have eagles. Because they think they're the apex predator. Right. You know what an apex predator is? Probably. It's like basically the top of the food chain of the, of the bird world. Right. Of the fowl world. So they think they're the apex predator. They think they can swoop down on any, on anything and dick, take it and have it. And that's what it's talking about in Zechariah 5. Right. Right. You go into Zechariah 5, it speaks about two women, uh, with two wings, I believe, and they took an ephod, an ephod, and they put, they put us in it, and closed it, and took us to the land of Shinar, which is Babylon. So it's talking about, uh, Edomite, I forget the whole breakdown, but it's basically talking about how the Edomites, in the form of uh, of women, yeah. different philosophies and different nations of these Edomites, took us, put us into captivity in the land of Shinar, which would be uh, Babylon. So that's why they represent that evil, man. And that's why the scriptures talk about the, uh, matter of fact, real quick, right? References in second as it's 11 and 12. That eagle, that eagle with 12 feathers, which is the Roman Empire, but we know through the scriptures that this is the revised Roman Empire. Yeah, right? Yeah, Revelation. that's why on this sign you see the Babylonian Empire, the Medio Persian Empire, the, Gre the, the Grecian Empire, the Roman Empire. My bad. And uh, the divided kingdom on the toes, the toes represents NATO and EU because these nations are divided. You got Germany trying to pull out of the uh, NATO. You got uh, Greece being bankrupt and broke. So it's a divided kingdom. That's why it's partly strong and partly clay, okay? Right. And they also call it the revised Roman Empire, all right? With America sitting on top of it. Uh. That's how we know this is America too. Dealing with that eagle. But the scriptures say we're gonna fly as eagles. Oh yeah. And this white man is destroyed. It does. Revelation 11 and 8, that last part where it says all the world is crucified. That, that proves that also proves that um it also proves that this is a this is uh because when he when he talks about Sodom and Egypt, we know that's referenced in America, but then also where our Lord is crucified, that's another way of knowing because our, our Lord was crucified in Rome. And in, in all those cities in Judea and whatnot, they were on they were under Roman authority. So we know that in this time this talk this America America, that, that scripture proving that uh America's Rome in the reincarnation as well. You know? Upon other other scriptures as well. This place is everything, man. That's why, yeah, that's why it's called ba uh, Babylon, Baba in the uh, Hebrew, which means confusion. Which means if you have a mixture of different nations and different customs all in one, the Most High's not about that. He's about division. That's why he divide everybody with their separate lands, separate nations. He's not with all this uh, gathering, gathering together. When that, you know what I'm saying? And, that's, and that causes confusion, you know what I'm saying? For the proven of the, of the attributes of the miracle. Man, Jake still want to be a rapper in 2016. I feel you on. I feel you on what you said about. You know, it's, it'll be a better way to reach people. But at the end of the day, yeah. hey, Amos the ninth chapter tells you the Lord is going to reach His elect at all four corners of the earth somehow, some way, man. 
because being a fucking rapper in 2016, it's quite ridiculous. I mean, look, I mean, if, if you want to use it in terms of like expressing, expressing the truth. Listen, you're not going to reach millions of people. Right. The reason why is because they're not going to let you. You might be able to go independent and have a nice little movement, but you're not going to get on a fucking level as no. Future and Drake and teach them the truth. No, hell no. Period. They will not let you do that, man. No. They will whack your ass out. That's why anytime Pimp C or Michael Jackson or or Pac. Pac, niggas start talking about this real this. Well, shit. Uh, you gotta go. Well, shit. Even like hell, even outside the genre of uh, outside the genre of music. If let's say, you know, even with some of these black power conscious uh, revolutionary type movements, man, once you start talking about this, just like how they did Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, it take yeah. you away. Man. Yeah, he start he start saying that we're we're the real Israelites. Hey, he can talk about fair girl all he wants. But as soon as he says something about we are the people of the box, get him out of here. Hey, oh, same as Martin Luther King. His last speech was, uh, I've been to the mountaintop. And he's like, uh, I might not get there with you. Uh, my people, he's like, we as a people don't get there. The next day, they kill me. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't really know the truth about MLK. If he, if he started I, pushing, I remember that. I remember that speech that he. Yeah, I remember that, but I didn't know it had any uh, thing indicating that he was saying we were the Israelites. Like Malcolm X said it plain and clear, we are the people of the Bible. Then they snuffed him out. But I say that to say, even with Waka Flocka, like he's woke up to the truth, and he was on his Twitter and shit talking about it. Now you don't really hear him talking about it. Probably got to told him, told him to shut that shit up. Shut that shit up, man. I mean, you do have now. Let's let no. You do have certain individuals that are um, that have that that have the uh, knowledge. Like some some guys that are prominent, like Amari Stoudemire. You know, uh, certain individuals know about this truth, but you don't. You won't see them be put. You no, know, come out and say it. If they do, the Lord has, might put the spirit on them to do that. But normally, they're not going to do that. You know what I'm because they don't want to, they don't want to uh, catch the rap from the devil. You know? uh, I just wanted to say too, like the Muslims killed Malcolm, right? Or you know what I'm saying he they killed Malcolm. The Muslims also killed uh, our guy uh, Abba Vib Abba Vib is the one that uh, helped start this. You know what I'm saying one of the one of the uh, founding uh, people that helped rise the strip though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's another question I had. Like, was all the Muslims, they over there taking over our land over there. What's going on there? The Pel nah, well, nah. Really, really it's them the Arab. Arab and Edomites. Well, Edomites and Arabs yeah. saying they're Jews. They're, they got our land. And then we got the Palestines. They're the Arabs and Arab Muslims. So really it's just Arabs and Edomites. Fake Jews and, and Arabic Muslims taking over our land. That, those are the bastards doing an ass job in the 